WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange had made a triumphant exit from the British High Court overnight, freed from police custody on bail of 200,000 pounds, more than $300,000. As part of the release agreement, he's having to observe a curfew, wear an electronic tag, and report to police in person every day. But there are no restrictions on his Internet use. So as he stays at his friend's country estate, Assange is free to get back to spilling U.S. government secrets on his website. Well, I continue on with our, our work. Clearing my name is not the highest uh, task I have. The highest task I have uh, is to continue on uh, with my work. Uh, obviously, clearing my name is also uh, important, and uh, I will continue to do that. My legal team will continue to do that. We will press uh, the Swedish government to provide us uh, with evidence. Sweden's been trying to extradite Assange on allegations of rape and molestation. Assange questioned whether the moves were just an attempt to get him to a place where the U.S. can get a hold of him more easily. But Swedish Prime Minister Fredrik Reinfeldt denied politics was influencing the case. An arrest warrant was uh, put up and uh, based on accusations that was brought forward by a Swedish prosecutor. And uh, this is now... Uh, for the uh, Swedish and international judicial system uh, to, to handle and not for me to have anything to say about. And Assange got some good news from his home country Friday, where Prime Minister Julia Gillard said it doesn't appear that leaking classified U.S. documents is illegal in Australia. The advice is that there have been no breaches of Australian law. So uh, I do want to make it clear, obviously, there is a foundation stone here, which is the original theft of the documents. The US authorities are the lead agencies there uh, dealing with uh, breaches of US law. Uh, and I'm not going to speculate on the result of any of those uh, investigations. Assange had said he was bracing for a grand jury indictment in the U.S. over the release of secret documents. In the meantime, more of them were continuing to appear on his WikiLeaks website. The Guardian newspaper spotlighted some Friday, which alleged Indian security forces tortured detainees in Kashmir and said American officials feared Indian laboratories could become a target for terrorists. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.